So welcome to our next free campsite. This is the Needles Overlook uh, camping area. So we were at Needles Overlook uh, yesterday. We arrived here yesterday. We went out to the Overlook. It was amazing. It, it absolutely uh, mind-blowing. But the difficult part is it's very difficult to try and capture that kind of depth with a camera. So I'll, I'll show you some of my pictures, but really it doesn't do it justice. Anyways, for camping, it seems that they've made a few changes and you cannot camp close to Needles Overlook anymore. Quite a ways past uh, before, they've got this no camping sign and now they've got all the signs right in the middle of the road, uh, these off roads, you know, no camping in this area. And then as you're driving back out, there's a lot of the routes, uh, they say uh, non-designated route. So they're not even allowing you to drive down the road. So it seems like it's getting very restricted, probably maybe because of the amount of work it is for them, I don't know. Anyways, we found this spot. There's a few roads that go out towards the, the edge of the canyon so that you can overlook. Not as spectacular as Neil's Overlook, but pretty good. And that's where we are here. So we've got a nice little spot. As you can see in the background, that's the canyon right there and we set up our chairs down below and we got set up down there. We took the uh, propane barbecue pit down there. And so we'll, we'll uh, I'll show you around a little bit this campsite. And again, if you wanna see the location, check out our Instagram, Ways Out Back. So let me show you around camp a little bit. So first off the road coming in, it's quite a ways in. Uh, and again, it's quite a rough road near the end. But there are campsites even further up. But let's say you come in, you think, oh, it's a little too rough to get right down to the bottom. You can still camp up top. There's some nice flat areas there, and you can see where other people have camped. But anyways, if you could make it to the end, maybe a little smaller trailer, no problem. Come on right through, right in here. There's a nice spot in there. You can fit two trailers. Park one back there, and then we're parked right here. And then check out this view out here. that's the edge of the canyon right there you can see down there we've got our camp chairs set out right on the on the edge so here we are down at our where our chairs are set up and just check that out not a beautiful spot Now we hiked, you can hike all the way around here, right out to the point. So again, what a nice spot down there. And over there, lots of camping. But now let's check out what's going on inside the trailer. I think we got some breakfast going on. So what's going on right now? So we're just, um, I'm just cooking up some bacon and some beans and I was gonna make some toast and some fruit salad for breakfast. Mm, that sounds pretty good. Okay, dinner for tonight. We're having steaks. So we got our steaks here. They've been marinating uh, all day, ready to go. Got my little portable barbecue set up here. It's uh, putting out about, it's about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So it'll be nice and hot, just enough to sear the steaks, get the, the juices to stay within. So I'm just gonna put it on there real quick, uh, let it cook like a minute, flip it, minute, and then let it cook through. But just to sear it to keep all the juices in, that's our, our first step here. So we had a great day today. Uh, the weather was perfect. It was actually very hot, sunny, 
Uh, we were out in our shorts, t-shirts. It's sure a difference. You know, now at nighttime, we've got our co heavy coats on because the the cold desert air, you know. But today we were out hiking along the cliffs. We walked a lot along a lot of the cliffs and it's just amazing when you look at the the scenery, you know, like the the trees are just growing up right from the rocks. Um, it, it, the the different flowers that are out there. These old trees that look so um, they're so gnarly because of all of the weather conditions that they've had to endure. It's pretty amazing. And then you've got this kind of view on top of it. I think that this is probably one of our favorite campsites so far. And now we're just going to sit out here tonight. We've got a scotch just to relax. A fire. Uh, I picked up this fire pit. It's just off of Amazon again. It was just in their clearance section. When I was researching the, the different camp so spots, a lot of them mentioned that they didn't allow uh, like campfires, uh, wood campfires, but they would allow these propane fire pits. And, and you can see why, because it is really, really dry here. So in Colorado, um, but by Boulder there, same thing, they didn't allow fires. And then now here in Utah, uh, down in Valley of the Gods, so we have this little fire pit. You still get kind of a little bit of that, uh, the feel of a fire. And I mean, we can just sit here and hopefully we're, we're really hoping that it's gonna be a nice clear night tonight so that we can see some stars, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. We really like these days, you know, when you're not traveling, where you can just relax a little bit. It just allows you to just kind of unwind, get ready for the next trip. But anyways, we're gonna sit here now just enjoy the fire, enjoy a little bit of scotch, and hopefully enjoy some stars. Well, that's it. We are packed up. We're heading out. Uh, we had a great time at this campsite. Highly recommend it. Uh, the whole area is just beautiful. But anyways, we're heading over now to the Wedges uh, Overlook, uh, a little bit further north. We're just slowly working our way further north. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more to come, and we'll see you in the next one.